Hey guys, in today's video I will tell you about what the Steamworks common redistributables are and how to use them, how to hide them. If you haven't done that yet, of course don't forget to like and subscribe and if you did, let's dive into the video. First of all, you have probably seen Steamworks common redistributables at least once before and yes, you probably thought about how that works, what does it do and everything. Because it is an important file, so whenever you actually install Steam on your computer, it always instantly installs itself and it's a big file. Should you delete it? Should you update it? Should you just hide it? Of course, after this, you will know all about it. Steamworks is basically a free development program for game developers, including that's like all the important files, tools, for and everything that is used to develop games on Steam. It can optimize the settings in the game to run on various like Windows computers and everything. The Steamworks common redistributables are like available on 32 bits, 64 bit PCs, and they include the programs like DirectX 9, Microsoft Visual C, Net Framework, and everything. When you download a game from Steam for the first time, Steamworks common redistributables will automatically download and install itself actually so the games you get after that won't download the same thing because it's already installed on your PC. So no, never uninstall Steamworks from your PC because Steamworks is really needed and really useful to actually place most of the games on Steam. The scripts and codes for the redistributables are created by Valve, which they get updated regularly. They are sent as OTA updates when new patches are available, and yes, they are really important. But if you are not a programmer or anything like that, or if you don't just use it as much and you just want to hide it, you can always, of course, set your library to all, and then just find Steamworks common redistributables. After that, you can just go right click, manage, and of course select hide this game from here. So when you do this, as you can see, it is right now hidden. And if you click that, you can always remove it from hidden. But if you don't like your library to be clouded by apps, you can always hide it and that's an option. But of course, to make sure it works perfectly and your Steam doesn't like create any problems or anything, you should always go and test by just going to Manage, Properties, Installed Files, and then just say Verify Integrity of Tool Files. So it will actually check the integrity of the files. And right now, as you can see, it says that all of my files are successfully validated. So I know my Steam works works perfectly and actually that was basically it we hope you liked the video have a great day we hope to see you in the next video and goodbye